Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I wanted to introduce you to one of my amazing clients, Marlena Ulrich. Ulrich and she is, oh my God, where do I even start? Marlena used to be an educator and she wrote many books back then and they're still being used in schools around kids and mindfulness. She started a nonprofit, the Kids Breakfast Club. She's had multiple awards and then her and her husband Bill uh, most recently are now uh, real estate investors and they she is a home stager she has a whole new home, home staging company since I've met her and she wrote a book about that and uh, gosh there's so many amazing things about you Marlena her and her husband have been married for 35 years uh, and uh, they even most recently went on a vacation and learned how to surf, which I don't even think I would attempt. So there's, there's, you're just rocking and rolling and I'm so happy to see it. Um, well, thank you so much, Katrina. And uh, I, I love that we have this time together because um, it gives me an opportunity to share like kind of the difference that you've made in my life. Mm -hmm. And I wanna say I'm probably not your usual client. Uh, first of all, I came to you when I retired. I came to you as, quote, a retiree, right? I was 70 years old. Yes. I'm 74 now, 74 and a half. <laughs> and you're rocking it. Some More than some of my clients, let me Thank tell you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Well, you know, it, you know, because my background is in education. I, I have a doctorate degree in educational leadership. And, you know, it's been my whole life. And when I retired, it was like I had an opportunity to, like, start all over and do what I wanted to do. Mm. And so I had this dream of, you know, actually taking something that was, quote, a hobby and actually making it into a career. And when I first started with you, it was like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I want to be a home stager. And I didn't even know what a home stager was, but I, I was decorating homes up until then and realized I could make money doing it. I thought, oh, my God, how cool is that? But it was like, you know, I just had no idea, like, how, where to begin, you know, because it was definitely out of my 40, 50 years of experience as an educator. And it was like, you know, as a full-time business owner, and I remember saying, oh, yeah, I just want to stage one home a month. <laughs> so that That's like, what she said when she came to me. I'm like, well, that shouldn't be that difficult to help you do. <laughs> I know. We did that and then some. It's just been so incredible, you know, and I just, you know, with, I just admire like who you are as a person and what you bring to people. I mean, not only just incredible, incredible skill set of of like, you know, just helping people like with, set it, like for instance, for me, setting up Zoom and learning how to kind of do that, setting up LinkedIn even and, and the importance of that and all the social media, which is really a weak spot of mine, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But, uh, you know, it's been amazing to have you kind of guide us. And I especially loved when you had a whole room full of us do, and you were, each, each person had their own technical challenge that are thing that they wanted to work on Facebook LinkedIn whatever and you were there for each one of us and just going from one computer to the other just dialing it in it's just so amazing you're just so gifted I hope that you you um, realize you know all of all of that that you bring so there's an incredible skill set in the content that I mean I've called I've called you up the last minute it's like oh my god I gotta get a press release out they're gonna use my book at this event and boom, right there on the spot, you know, you helped me create a press release. I was like, oh yeah, okay, no problem. Before you know it, it's all cranked down, and it's done, it's professional, it's beautiful, and I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, you sometimes correct my grammar, I get it, uh, because of your educational background, we'll write things like letters, and she'll be like, well, I think I'll change this word, but that's okay, you know, yeah. so I just don't even know where to start. I know exactly and and you know and sometimes when it's your own project it's like well you know what you need to do but like just getting started on it is sometimes like oh, where, where do I begin so you know that's where you step in and just do your magic and yeah I've also noticed how you know you, you just always go that extra mile and you're always available 
you know, whenever I've called you, you know, I've, I've been able to schedule a time to talk with you. And sometimes it's urgent, sometimes it's a, a planned call, but you, you know, you're always present for your clients. And, and that's just amazing. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and I just wanted to say too, like how much you've uh, touched my heart. Mm -hmm. you know, um, like about a year ago, our dog died. And I think I shared that when I was in the mastermind group. And uh, shortly after, a few days after, I got a card from Katrina in the mail. I got a card from you, you know, and I had like a picture of a little dog on it. And it was like, oh, my God, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's that's the many ways that you touch people by just um, being there. So fully present. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of in awe. So. Yeah. I'm in awe of you because you've done so much. Not only does she stay usually more than one house a month, but then she decided to start this other thing, and then she's bringing back this other breakfast club thing, and now she's doing this other thing, and she's managed yeah. to take two or three vacations this year as well. And uh, hello, like, ha what's retirement? I don't even know. <laughs> what do you mean retirement? Retirement means going out to pasture, right? Just keep doing things you love. And only do things you love and, and around the kind of life you want to live. That's really the goal, right? At this point. Um, absolutely. And, you know, and, and being retired, you know, I knew that it wasn't like I was going to be sitting around watching TV. <laughs> you know, for me, it was like a new beginning. You know, even at age 70, it's like, well, screw that. You know, I'm 70. Okay, no big deal. But it's like, let's move forward with what's important to me and the gifts that I have. And like you said, all these other things have like started to come forward again. And, and people making requests for how can we do this nonprofit in our community? You know, it's like, oh, okay, well, I know how to do that. I created the training manual and boom, let's go, you know? So yeah. it's bringing that forward. So whatever the synergy is, whatever the magic is, you know, in working with you and working with our mastermind group, you know, it just amplifies, you know, for, for me in particular. And I know other clients are just experiencing off the wall results, you know, books that are being written, um, just podcasts that are being created and you know you just have a way of opening up the door and making that magic occur so i just wanted to uh, give you a big shout out for you know just the huge difference that you've made in my life and in the lives of others thank well, you thank you thank you thanks for being here and letting me highlight you and then your website is um, My website is, yeah, amazing-staging.com. Yeah. Yeah. And you also have another one with all the books on it. And yeah. That one, yes. That one's um, alwayslearning.com. Yeah. So, A-L-L. -L, yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And that's where I have like five or six of my books. And as you mentioned, my mindfulness book and the toolkit that I created for, for educators to go with that, to teach us them how to use the book and how to bring in mindfulness and social emotional learning skills, which is the big thing right now in education. So, mm -hmm. and of course, um, I, I took on your 30 day challenge of writing a new book. And that's <laughs> when I got the secret sauce of staging. Done, you know, it's like, boom, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And so the challenge was huge. And, and I took it on what? and I put it out there. And since then, I've been on TV and radio talk shows, you know, with uh, sharing my life as a home stager and realtor. What's next for you? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a lot already going on, but is there, I know. is there anything still on your bucket list, personal or business, that you really want to make sure you do? Um, well, that's, that's a good question. You know, um, at the end of next month, I'm doing a TED-like talk. Oh, good. Yeah, so I'm very excited about that. And I've been, of course, practicing and working on it and just really crafting that. Um, there's, there's really something that I want to do for kids. You know, kids have always been kind of the center of everything that I've done, improving the quality of life for kids and families. So something big, you know, I, I have had the pleasure of um, being nominated by my congressman to, as a community hero when I was living in the Bay Area, 
I ran with the Olympic torch in 1996. Um, I've been mentioned in the U.S. congressional record for the work that I've done for children and families. I received um, the U.S. Presidential Award for Service. So, you know, it's like, I don't even know, because those things just kind of came to me, and I didn't even know they even existed or that I would, like, quote, qualify. <laughs> so I don't know, but I would really love to um, go out with a bang. <laughs> and well, hopefully just, you have 20, 30 years in you, so. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. As a matter of fact, yeah, I've got, I've got a lighter... Sure. You're in nice good shape, that's for sure. Absolutely, I work out every day along with my husband. It's so great, it's so great to have a wonderful supportive relationship. And I have to give Bill Wheelock a big shout out because you know he's made, he's supported me all this time. And he's like got more technical skills than I do. So I got the content, he's got the technical skills. So we just kind of put that all together and yeah. it wouldn't have happened without him. That, um, yeah, my goal is to continue to be a voice for kids and families and, and you know, to make the world a better place. So I do have to live until I'm 102 because, <laughs> that, <laughs> because um, that will be the anniversary of the 50-year time capsule that the city of Hayward planted in front of their city hall. And in that time capsule, is a news article of me and a picture of me running with the Olympic torch in 1996. Oh my god. So, yeah. All right, you go girl. I know, I tell you, I got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day, Marlena. You too, Katrina. Thank you so much again for all you do. Oh. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.